Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Sick MRI. And this is a 54-year-old male with complaints of knee pain for about a month. Uh, his knee is swollen and hurts to walk on. He's got a job where he has to walk a lot. And here we have a sagittal view where we have arrows pointing to a big joint effusion. The kneecap is here. This is the quadriceps tendon, this dark band, all the thigh muscles attached to this. It comes to the top of the kneecap. This is the patellar tendon off the bottom. Here's the front, here's the back. And so in front of the femur, the big thigh bone, we see this abnormal pocket of fluid, which is white. So we know that something serious is going on because there's so much fluid in the knee. We'd call this a large or even massive joint effusion, really distending this. Now the patient's ACL, anterior cruciate ligament, is this one here. It comes down obliquely from the femur to the tibia. It looks good. The PCL goes the opposite direction. It's looking good. And if we look here, the meniscus, lateral meniscus, here's the front, back. Looks pretty good. That dark band, it's like a cushion between the femur and tibia. If we go to the medial side, that meniscus looks pretty good. Here's the front and back, looks okay. But on this cut here, looks good. If we go more central, it gets a little foggy here. And the view there, we just don't see very well. This is called the meniscus root, where it attaches to bone. And here we don't see it very well, but maybe it's just volume averaging artifact. Hard, Hard to call anything on this, but if we look on another view, this is a coronal view. We're looking straight ahead. Now we can see the patient has some findings here. Have arrows pointing to brightness in the bone. This is the femur, the big thigh bone. This is the tibia down below. Now we can see the relationship between the femur and tibia and this meniscus. The little wedge fits in here and it acts as a shock absorber between the bones. This lateral meniscus looks good, but the medial meniscus actually looks perfectly fine here as well. But now we're going to go to that area where it attaches to the bone. I will say on this view, the meniscus looks like it's a little too far out. Instead of being nice tucked between here, between the femur and tibia, it's squirted out a little bit. And there's brightness in the bone, so we know that there's some sort of a bone injury or maybe abnormal mechanics of stress. Sometimes you can have too much stress on a bone, it'll be bright like this. So. The combination of the meniscus being squirted out just a little bit, which we call pseudo-extruded, and this marrow edema makes me think that the meniscus is not doing a good job, and there's abnormal stress. Now the bone is starting to break down because there's too much stress, because our meniscus is not doing a great job. Now we're going to go back to the back of the meniscus, and I put some arrows right where the bone is, or the meniscus is supposed to attach to bone. This is the meniscus root. We should see it coming down here and attaching to bone, and instead it comes sideways, and we have a vertical line here. It's dark, and then it's vertical brightness. We shouldn't see that. We should see a dark band coming all the way down to bone. So this is the meniscus root, and it looks like the patient has a torn meniscus root, and the meniscus, therefore, is not holding on tight. It's lost its hoop stress and squirting out a little bit. And this is a very subtle one. They're usually much easier to see than this, and these are the kind that get missed pretty regularly because everything looks pretty good on the other views, and even on this view it looks pretty good. So unless you're really looking for it, or unless they have some edema to, to alert you to the fact that the meniscus is not doing a good job, this could uh, easily be missed. So this is a torn medial meniscus root with stress reaction or developing stress injury of the medial femoral condyle, and then again that very large joint effusion in the front of the knee. Thank you very much.